Stuart Roy Clark has been taking photographs in and around football grounds for years. Many people do that, of course. But what makes him different is his lack of interest in the games themselves. His photographs concentrate on the passion of the fans, the sculpture of the stadia, and the moments that might seem at first glance to be insignificant. I think why photography is so special to me is that I can just capture things and uh, kind of know that they can last forever. And that's really what I want to do. I want to thrill in the moment, but have something that's very lasting. I'm a bit of an onlooker, you know, I, I, I do get involved, but I'm very good at watching things, anticipating what's going to happen next, framing it in a very special way, and that's, you know, there's your picture. Um, there's a kind of shrewdness about these eyes, but there's an empathy in my heart. I think that's really the key things about a photographer, is they're very sharp and cool, but in here they, they love, and they love, they love, and it's that, that combination of sort of sharp and soft, that makes me a photographer anyway. Clark's Homes of Football exhibition, which can be seen at the National Football Museum in Manchester, features images picked from his archive of over 100,000 photographs taken over the last 24 years. The pictures are about rather more than 22 players running after a ball. They're about the fabric that surrounds the sport as much as the game itself. They attempt to capture the details, the passion, the excitement, the glory, the disappointment, the expectation, the hope and the emotions. So what's it all about? You know, why am I doing this? Mostly I'm telling a story over a longer period of time. When you turn the pages, you might start, ah, oh, I see, you know, realising why things have been put together. And, um, I've faced challenges. I mean, in the early 90s, uh, before Beckham and before Euro 96 and football's coming home, particularly, the art galleries and museums that I craved to show this work in didn't want to know. You know, they were snobs, basically. There's no other word for it. They said, it's not for art galleries, it's for the back pages of newspapers. I said, no, it's not. So I had battle after battle, and I probably still will again. The exhibition toured between 1991 and 2005 before finding a permanent home at the National Football Museum last year. Clark's pictures have been triggering nostalgia and even more emotional responses from fans of football and photography alike, but the collection of images is still growing. The new season sees him once more travelling to matches large and small, always looking for that special shot. I work on, on an old film camera which I worked the entire time. This is it. It's taken all the pictures. And as strange as this sounds, I try and take as few pictures as possible. Um, that differs from most photographers who take quite a lot, especially in the digital age. But um, I kind of treat it like there's only a, a classic amount of pictures out there. They're kind of in stone and I've got to come along with my chisel and find them and then present them. I guess all the exposures on this camera, I, um, I like to think I'm a bit of a magician, that I'm going to pull that thing that was hidden in the rock that I described that I've got to find. And then I've got to wait a few days for it to come back from uh, the lab or in yesteryear I was up in the attic always developing films myself. And I do look uh, upon people, you know, using digital cameras a little bit like, are they rushing to get nothing? Um, it's a kind of machine gun approach. So I like to think mine's a little bit contemplative and uh, the slower process is gonna yield better results over a longer period. And that's what I'm about. I've done this now for 24 years and I always visualise my work being on a big, bigger stage than before. So I'm still on the lookout for other opportunities and that probably comes next year with Brazil and the World Cup. I think for years I would have I've dreamed, if you like, that you know, the World Cup would be in such a place like Brazil and that it would be my absolute um, time. You know, it would be the time when I could do everything I wanted and uh, get a huge audience. When my dad used to take me to football matches when I was small and stand in positions like this, I wonder what he thought I would be. 
But I certainly know what I thought I'd be was an explorer. And um, if not an explorer, a racing driver. And then as I got a little bit older, I thought an artist. So what I do now is a combination of all those things. I speed around in my car, um, exploring all sorts of weird and wonderful places, football grounds and football culture, and then making art of them. The beautiful game is art. What else could it possibly be?